Okay, again, I have a series of videos that you guys can watch uh, when you get home about, about how to do Plotly and all this and that. But let me just um, reiterate quickly uh, what this tool is. I think this is a great tool um, for you guys to learn. There's a couple different ways you can get data in. We can uh, uh, import data or, sorry, we can import data from an Excel file or we can just type it in either way or we can copy it from Excel, let's say, and paste it in. So let's look back at our data set here. And um, uh, I mean, we could do something really simple. We could do something like this. Or we can do overall, yes, no, this. And we can, so what I would do, what I would do is, um, so Plotly is a powerful program. Firstly, I would I would use Chrome as the, I mean, this works on any browser, but some browsers seem to work better than others. Chrome seems to work better, for example, than Safari. Chrome seems to work a bit better than Firefox for this particular application. So, so while you can use whatever, whatever you have should work. Um, it seems like it works more effectively and doesn't hang as much when you're in your Chrome browser. So note this is set up just like our Excel spreadsheet. And uh, we could do something like this. Let's start a new workbook. And let's do something like this. So here I'm copying this. Note that if I just came up here and then hit paste, we're going to get a bunch of errors. Right? Because what, what, I'm, what I'm actually copying, if I click in the cell, it's not a number. It says this formula. And so now that we've changed the relationship here, um, when we go up here, it doesn't know what it's doing. So instead I can come up here and select that same cell or that series of cells and say, edit, paste, special. And I can say, just paste the values. In this case, it pasted the, the formats that came over the first time. But if, for example, if I came to a clean cell and said, paste, special, and hit values, it's going to only have the numbers and there isn't going to be any of this uh, uh, funkiness and stuff. Okay. Um, I'm now going to collect, copy this. Let's put that in like that. Let's do this like this. And let's insert a row here. I'm just messing around really quickly to make this look a little easier for you guys. So boom, boom, boom. Uh, sorry, let's do like that. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. Going to delete this. And move these guys over here. Okay, now I have now I have this stuff organized into the proportional responses that I was looking for. And I'm going to go, let's see. I think I'll go like this. Edit. Oh, sorry. Copy. Edit, paste, special. I'm going to try a new one here. I'm going to hit this transpose button. Click that transpose button. Boom. Uh, now I've switched the order of stuff, right? So now I have people that said yes. So this is all the June surveys are in one column. All the September surveys are in one column. All the overall surveys are in one column. Maybe I like that. So I'm gonna come up here, delete this. Boom, I'm gonna delete this. Okay, cool. I'm going to save this thing as uh, erase. Okay, so I say this is an Excel workbook. Now, now check it out. I can copy these values right here, right into here, like this. Boom, there they are. I would have to come up, though, in this case, and hit rename and say this is all surveys, right? 
and this is June, so this June data, and this is September data. Right? You can do that if you guys like. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. Or I could say I want to import. I want to, oh, sorry, yeah, upload a file. And I want to go to here. And I want to go to this Excel thing and say boom, boom, boom. Just going to think for a second. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there. Okay, good. All right, there. So there you go. So now when I import it, I don't have to do any of that stuff, right? I don't have to do any of the the naming and and all this and that. Um, okay. So let's say let's say here's my data, all right? And I want to graph the proportion of what my surveys say, over overall surveys. So I could, for example, do a pick out what kind of plot I'd like to do. I can I can do that by this toggle box. I can do that by, by pulling this one down, which is a, a somewhat uh, more limited uh, options, but it's the same basic idea. It's a bar chart. And I, then I all I got to do is say I want my X to be, maybe I want my X to be the yes, no, unsure, and my Y to be the proportion. Then I can say, boom, and here you go. Right, so uh, in this case, there's no error bars or anything because we don't have any error bars because it's the entirety of the population. Um, but if, say, you were doing, if you averaged a bunch of years, we could we could add in error bars, for example, there. Um, so I have this this guy here. Everything here is manipulatable, so I can uh, I can um, change whatever I like. So the traces are going to be the the um, the color, for example. So I could say I don't want blue, I want red, and I want it to be sort of opaque. And you know, da 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 da. It's all. It'll take you a little while to go through everything, but just realize everything is changeable. The the fonts, the size of the stuff, the the labels, all that jazz is all uh, editable and changeable. Once we get it in a, in a place we like. Since I'm going to require you guys to turn in um, a, a printed version for me. Oh, sorry. So I got this way I like. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to and I say, oh, I like this. I think this is this is going well. Um, and I want to um, hit sh hit save. And I'm going to title it something. So this is. Uh, Erase this first test graph. Boom, it's saved. Um, so pretty cool. Oops, yeah, right. Now, if you guys want to collaborate with me or anybody else, you could type in our email addresses here. And you could we, we could all comment on your graph together. You could also generate a, a link that others could see it. Uh, for you guys, I hopefully hopefully you'll see this. If, if you if not, you need to let me know because I need to change your settings. But this with this you guys can tell say this is for ESRM you know 462. Um, you can do all this kind of good stuff in here that helps me keep track of stuff. Um, not we don't need to do that this particular round, but um, but yeah, so we can change all this stuff editable. But so now we've saved it. Now we can do is we can do export. So I'm gonna hit export. And you can do it as a PDF or a PNG. You guys pick which one is going to work best for you, depending on what, what word processor you're going to use. And I'd say download. And now I'm going to get a static version of my graph. And so, uh, you know, a graphical thing I can just insert into my, um, my presentation or my, my, my write-up. Cool? Uh, so just like everything else, you guys can layer on data. You can you can add data into this after I've made this, or we can look at this and go, oh man, I don't like this. I can change this to a bar graph. There's all kinds of um, of ways to do this. And so I have uh, I have some explanatory videos uh, online that I'll link to you. But this is a nice thing that you guys don't need to pay for. That's a much more elegant, more powerful way to graph than 
the default Excel options that's, that some of you guys are limited to. Um, the thing I would just note, note is that you guys should always have uh, your, your values labeled, right? You want to have your, generally speaking, your axes always labeled. Any units, in this case, there's just proportional people. Maybe you guys want to do proportion. Maybe you want to do percentage. That might make, might make more sense to you, but it should be labeled as whatever whatever the, the thingamajigger is. Um, and clearly readable, clearly interpretable. Um, if we were to add in any error bars, depending on how you're going to do your thing, you may or may not want, want to do error bars. Um, for example, if you're reporting the average amount of seafood eaten by men versus the average amount of seafood eaten by women, you'd want to report the, the median value or the central tendency, the average, as well as some measure of the error. Were you guys to do that, you should always include a note as to what the error bars are, what the central tendency is. is you know, bars equal median plus or minus one standard deviation, something like that. Uh, the only thing that's a little bit tricky here is because this is designed to be hypertext here. Wait, what was this? This is climate change. Climate change of, or um, climate change a significant problem, right? So if I want to, so there you go, there's a title. Oh man, I really wish I had another thing. There, there's a few, um, there's a, basically the way this is set up, you, you would have to do a little bit of coding to make it look super fancy. But for example, if I wanted to say, uh, say um, uh, 626 respondents on SoCal beaches, in 2015, maybe I want it, maybe I want that to be a subscript. I could come into here and do something like this, and they'll put a line break in. There's a few tricks like that that you know don't don't get too caught up in that. But but basically, you can change everything. It's just a matter of you have to have a special code or two because this is written just like a web page. This is this is basically hypertext stuff. Okay, so don't worry too much about that though. You can you can. Uh, all the basics are there. Cool. Was anybody not able, so everybody either had a Plotly account from before or you guys were able to establish one? Did anybody, was anybody not able to establish one? Okay, great. So there you go. So you guys have all access to a, a, a great graphing program and um, you guys all have access to the data and you can import that. I should also flag uh, I think it's help. Yeah. So if you guys want to look at how to do stuff, there's all kinds of great, and you can search for them. There's a gazillion of them in here. If you want to do a box plot, as this walks you step by step through how to do each of these different um, plotting exploits. And uh, yeah, there's more we could talk about, but I think that's probably enough for the, the, first, the first round with Plotly. Questions about that? All right, cool. So at some point, no sooner than a week from Wednesday, you guys will be turning in to me a summary that's going to be a brief overview of the, of the overall findings of our poll and then narrow in on um, the refugio, some aspect of the ref, people's take on the refugio spill and then a take on things other than the refugio spill with, a, with at least one graph about each of those subsections.